Don Quixote Telepole was delayed due to programming issues, but now, slightly less. <laughs> ah yes, we apologize for releasing content early. Thank you, director. Very cool. Passives are getting adjustments to make certain ones easier to activate. Some will now activate based on stockpiled sin resources. Okay. That's amazing news, since some are insanely difficult to activate. Looking at you, Grip Faust. <laughs> Respectfully, of course. By the way, Refraction Railway. Let's get on track. Welcome to Will of the Wednesdays, your weekly city news and discussion. So today, we're covering Refraction Railway details, various telepole egos, ego corrosion, and more. So, the April 6th update is massive. The manager's new hire event will end, giving way to the Refraction Railway, where you will have 13 difficult combat stages to clear. You are scored and rewarded based on how many total turns you take to complete the stages. The rail lines will be available for four weeks and are free to enter, but obtaining the rewards will cost modules. It's kind of a strange system, but it's a one-time payment to open it for this railway, so it's not a big deal. As for the combat, every fight will have the abnormality method of directly matching skills to opposing skills. So, Library of Ruin of fans, rejoice. And uh, no, you do not get the funny Tony Hawk Pro Skater combo noises here. Go back to the Mirror Dungeon Mines. The HP and SP of Sinners carry over between stages, and those who were not previously in battle will fully recover HP and SP. This does suggest that you should develop at least two groups within your team that you can switch between in order to maximize safety. What I am curious about is if fully recovering SP means that SP is reset to zero. And if you're above zero, hopefully it doesn't lower but it'll likely be similar to the story dungeon's checkpoint resets. If a sinner dies during the expedition, they cannot be revived for the remainder of that expedition unless you go back. Ego resources will carry over between stages. I think that's an interesting one. My first reaction is to just stall and farm ego resources for more difficult battles later on, but unfortunately your total turn count will suffer. To make most out of this, build teams around characters that can generate one sinner's ability to spam one ego. An example would be to build around ledger domain. Both LCB Sinner and G Corp Gregor can generate these resources easily, so four others that have either Sloth or Gluttony on their first two skills would be a great assist. The state and resources of all your Sinners is saved per stage, so you can come back to any current and previous point to retry your expedition. Lastly, you cannot change your team during the expedition. That includes if you level them up or uptie them outside the expedition. You must start a new expedition in order to update them. When you beat the final stage, your record for the run is saved in logs. You also get a neat banner to flex how well you did during line 1. Just finishing the event within a thousand turns grants you the basic banner, and beating it within a certain turn threshold gives you the decorated banner. Doing the same within the first week of the event instead gives you the embellished banner. So, finally. Limbus has its own monthly resetting challenge content. Let me know in the comments what challenge you think Project Moon should also add into Limbus Company. Difficult encounters aren't foreign to gotcha gamer fans, and if Fate Grand orders any indication, even people on mobile devices love challenge content. I was anxious for this content in a good way, due to the idea of the addition of these on the same patch. You will have to either consider keeping your current resources and keeping passives activated, or use an ego skill and obtain that passive instead. It's updates like these that keep players on their toes and games like these lively. Next, ego overclocking. So you're now allowed to induce ego corrosion, but make it controllable. Assuming you have 1.5 times original resources and SP required. If you do not have the required resources, it will have indiscriminate targeting once again. And you will also dip into negative ego resources. I am unsure of how much ego debt you can accrue, or if you're just allowed to dip below ones. Anyways, a lot of single target egos whose corrosion become AoEs essentially become immensely buffed. I'm excited to see more ways to evoke ego corrosion, as it used to be somewhat of a rare thing. It had always been exciting to see corrosion on the field because it's rare, and it usually means that you're about to lose, since there aren't way too much ways to lose SP without your sinners dying. However, to add something as useful as this into the game should mean that they intend to make us use it. I'm hoping to see more difficult clashes that shouldn't be able to be beaten with something as simple as a third skill within the first or second turn of a battle, and that we'll have to gamble on using an unstable overclocked ego instead. For example, due to the abnormality skill selection style gameplay in the Refraction Railway, we cannot easily farm and prepare ego resources per turn, as we'll have up to a max of 5 skill slots unlike regular human battles. If we don't manage that well going to the next battle, and there's a deadly skill, we'll have to corrode to potentially win it. But just something for fun. I genuinely hope that when you select the ego skill, that they'd actually transform while on the battlefield during the skill selection phase, similar to the standard ego corrosion at the moment. It's practically already implemented, and it would be awesome to see. For the March 30th patch, 
Don's telepole is finally here. It is yet another solution to the issue that is charge gain on charge characters. No details on Faust's telepole just yet, but like the others, I'm sure it grants charge too. Also, Rumpture. Considering this is an HE and Ego, it'll be quite handy for building around Body Sack with Heathcliff, and especially his R Corp identity, if it grants charge too. Look at Half Hazard Discharge passive. At the start of the combat phase, a random ally with charge gains NV Absolute Resonance count divided by 2 charge count. That is nothing but purple. Oh god. As a reward for making it this far, I've got a- the break segment's already here. So many of you may have seen this saga before. The I'm dropping this game copy pasta. Uh, they have apparently made another update to the series. Encorp, Faust, and Sinclair. You guys think they'll make Faust more Cromer-like and make her voice lines fawn and gush all over Sinclair? Encorp Mersal had lines in which he says to Dante that she, Faust, is interested in someone becoming her nail. Hmm. Ho <laughs> ho. <laughs> okay, uh, please don't include that. Oh god. The nail could be anyone at this point though. Might as well be Don. I can imagine that this will turn off a lot of gacha players if her lines will be about some guy that she is more interested in instead of Dante. Paying to roll a girl for over 50 bucks and then getting treated like that, not many gacha survive something like this. You guys think PM understands they're paying customers? Reminder, Koreans and Japanese also don't like stuff like this in a gacha. They love their waifus and husbandos. I think they won't do this. It seems like pretty much every alternative ID has the hots for the manager in at least one line. Alright, it continues. I'm dropping this game. PM clearly doesn't know how gacha works. All of those early system related blunders made me still believe, but releasing the alternative form of the main girl being obsessed with another guy? Yeah, I've seen where this goes. <laughs> okay. All right. In what world is Faust supposed to be the main girl? <laughs> I won't pay any more money for garbage like this. You better believe me, you will get an influx of all the scum of various communities flocking into your fan base and draw as much Lola. of Faust and Sinclair in any version of themselves and Dante watching in the corner. Fate Grand Order people unironically tried to warn us that we will get lioned and it actually happened. Dropped. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What a powerful, authoritative figure. I am what some would consider a whale, or leviathan depending on your definition, that spent 700 bucks on this game, and even if it's not much money for me, I actually regret it. To anyone who wants to play this game and thought it's a safe thing because Dante looks like a self-insert and the voice lines resemble waifu and has bondo material, do not get baited. Edit. All I see in the comments are a bunch of White men not having a problem with their girlfriend doing an OnlyFans. This game is already dead. Unfortunately, I don't have one of the updates to this, but there is a new update as of March 23rd. The saga continues. Okay, you have to stop. Really. Now I'm getting angry unironically. The amount of people not understanding that this was a troll is insane! Exclamation mark. Can you for once stop this shit? Okay, fine. Maybe it was a little real at first. I mean, I did like Faust, but I still didn't mind her loving Sinclair or whatever as Cromer. But everything after that was fake. Can you now please stop? Move on. I do not wish to keep making edits. Literally, I cannot sleep. This was the biggest break I ever had. It's like I went viral. This is the third night I randomly wake up to check messages in here. But it starts to get to me. I'm only human. And you know how it is, guys, right? Humans got a human, haha. Ha. I'm sick of pretending I was just pretending. The comments make my blood boil. Pretty. Any gacha that tries to romance the girls you pay for to other guys. It's like buying a prostitute, but for the dude that entered the establishment at the same time as you. It's like paying on a first date with the girl you meet up with, but her boyfriend is with her. It's like paying for your daughter's college just so she can get nailed by a bunch of Sinclairs over there. Jokes aside, PM still had no balls to actually confirm a ship, but kept it subtle. In such cases, the subtle Subtlety is the same as actually confirming it. Anyone that thinks otherwise is dishonest as f There are people that went crazy for Grave Faust saying Queen Yas. Literally me. Neat. Haha. Ha. Rodion makes her pizza. I love her. And people paid over 70 bucks for her only for her story to be obsessed with another man. Lamau. <laughs> God. This will never be the norm. The vast majority will never tolerate this kind of thing. PM are literally that. So they got conditioned over the years by PM through misery. They are so brain dead, they forgot they are. Illiterates, they gush over my story, looking each other off for looking smart while they never have read any book based on the characters. Just look at the most replied thread here. Friend code thread, not counting. And know what kind of kecks play this garbage. This person is trying to make 
a copy pasta. There are masterpieces that are badly made and are great to watch because they seem like they actually tried. Like The Room. But then you get Sharknado, where it's bad on purpose. But The Room is bad, but they tried really hard to make it good. <laughs> so this is kind of a Sharknado kind of post. Oh goodness. Well, anyways, there's a lot of memes in Korea about Line 1 being genuinely insane. Here's a context of what Line 1 kind of feels like in Korea. <laughs> Just for reference. Thank you to Oz and Tora for posting context and credits to Myonan here for posting this video. That truly was a meme bus company. So if you'd like to have a PM meme featured, please consider joining the Discord to post in Project Meme. All links below. Train of thought. What content do you want to see in the next season's Battle Pass? We may be about 60 days away, but make a guess in the comments. Since Gregor and Karan were this season's announcers, Doja and Virgil might be the next announcers for next season. I'd be surprised if it was someone like Yuri or Saude, because they're not alive. True. Well, that's that. And this was This World of Wednesday. Happy grinding.